Greetings Brick fans, this video is going to show you how to build your dragon's torso. The dragons from George R. R. Martin's series usually have large curved chests hinting at really strong chest muscles, and they're covered with scales. These are two features that we're going to incorporate into all of our dragon builds. We're going to start with some basic bricks and plates. Remember this is just how I built mine. You can use other sizes and colors of bricks and plates. Just use this as a guide. The three bricks with axle holes are going to go toward the front. That's where the neck is going to attach. Now flip it over and add the 2x2 two two plate right here. Add these brackets to one side. Now turn it around and add the same brackets to the opposite side. Now put the five pieces on the left together and the two pieces on the right, like this. Then put those on the top of the upside down assembly. Now combine these pieces together and then put those on top. Now turn your build right side up. And just start adding pieces to the top as shown here. These pieces are going to go to the rear. So first, put them together like this, and then snap them on underneath the backside. This rotation joint is where the legs are going to attach, so make sure it's attached securely. You'll want to combine these four wedge plates together, like so and then attach them on opposite sides, just in front of where the legs will attach. The sides can be one of the most difficult parts to build. I'm just gonna show you how to build one side. When you're done, go back through and do the exact opposite using the same pieces. This will be the left side of your dragon. When you build the right side, you'll need the opposite wedge piece than the one pictured here. Now for the fun part, adding the scales. For this one, I used pentagonal shaped shield pieces, but there are many others that you can use to create your own scales. Remember, when you build the right side, you'll want to use the same pieces, just attaching in the opposite direction. Now you're going to attach each side to the correct side of the center build using the brackets. Okay. 
For the rear, you'll build two sub-assemblies, each facing in opposite directions. Now attach them to the brackets on each side of the rear of your dragon. Same thing, you two small builds here should be facing in opposite directions. The shoulder sub-assemblies will go on each side in the front using these hinge plates, tops and bottoms. You may need to remove the first shield tile in order to attach the shoulder. Just take it off, attach it, and then put the shield back on. For the underside, you'll need to build six pieces just like this. For a larger dragon, you'll need to build more. Now put them all together like this. Put these plate pieces together just like this and then attach it to the front end of your underbelly assembly. Now combine the three pieces on the left together like this, three pieces in the middle, and then put them all together so it looks like this, and then attach it to the rear end of your underbelly assembly. Also put on the inverted slope. Now attach the front end and then curve the entire underbelly over and attach the rear. Start with a basic 2x12 plate and add these opposite facing slope pieces. Then add this wedge plate with cutouts underneath. Then get a couple of plates with teeth and add them to the bottom. You're going to need a lot more of these plates later. For this part, I used a 2x12, a 2x10, a 2x8, and a 2x2, combining them together like this. Then attaching it to the rest of the top. Now you'll combine the six pieces on the left together and then put two studs under two of the slopes. Now attach the two plates with the teeth under the two wedge slopes and then attach the slopes as shown here. Now you'll need four slopes with cutouts and four one by two plates. Put them together like this and then attach them as shown here. Get three more 1x2 plates and attach them here, leaving a space between them where you will attach the plates with teeth. Now you'll need to make nine like this, which are basically just jumper plates with cheese slopes. Make sure they're all facing in the right direction. Then attach them on top. For the front of the top, you'll need these pieces. Combine them together like this, one on the right side and one for the left side. Now you'll need 12 by three wedge plates, one for the left side, one for the right. Add the tooth plates and the cheese slopes as shown here. Now you'll need nine by three wedge slopes. Again, one for the left, one for the right. Attach tooth plates and small curved slopes and studs as shown here. 
then attach it all to the top of the two 12 by three wedge plates. Then attach that to the front. Now we're going to combine the two sub assemblies of the top together. And then we're going to firmly place them on top using the studs on top of the torso to hold them in place. Here are some alternate techniques for building torsos, especially different pieces you can use to build the scales. Now that we've finished the torso, we can put it together with the other parts we've built. We first add the legs, then the tail, and then finally the head. In our next video, we'll learn how to build the wings. Hope you've enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe.